and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a DIY bathroom makeover. This is going to be very renter friendly and super affordable. So this is a really quick and easy way to really spruce up a space with very little money. I'm giving you a quick view of what the bathroom looks like. If you haven't been here for a while, we are renting in here. So I am going to just spruce up this area and give it a refresh, of course, with the owner's approval. So I'm gonna take everything out of here and then I'm going to pull this mirror down and just start pulling everything out of the space so I can start to paint. I am using the Valspar Ultra Paint in Drift of Mist. I wanted to try out this color because we are thinking about painting our new home with this color. So I thought it was a perfect time to use it in here and see how it looks on the wall. This home was actually built by the owner's father. So I am just gonna come in here and spruce it up a bit. I really like this color. It's a very neutral color. Little pro tip, if you want Sherwin-Williams colors or more expensive paint brand, just go to Lowe's or Home Depot, give them the color code and the name, and they can mix it right then and there with a cheaper paint. So I am loving the Valspar paint. I think it might be my favorite. I am not the greatest when it comes to painting and my prep. Chris wanted to do this area, but I wanted to hurry up and get it done. As you can see, I am 31 weeks pregnant. I had the energy in the evening to do it, so I went ahead and decided to tackle this. I wanted to get it out of my mind, and I am so excited to get this bathroom looking so pretty. I had some inspiration from Instagram as well as Pinterest, and I will share those pictures right here. And so when I saw these pictures, it made me feel so inspired, and that is why I am taking this bathroom to the next level. The things that I show you that I do in here, anybody can do with hardly any money and make it your own. So I rolled the walls and I am using this brush for the ceiling and the corners. And then I'm using Blue Twilight, the Valspar cabinet and furniture paint, as you see here. And I'm gonna paint the cabinets with this color. It is so beautiful. It is like a muted blue and it's perfect for, honestly, if you like French country, shabby chic, the list goes on, but this is a lake house and I wanted to keep that coastal theme going. So this is a perfect color to paint this cabinet. This is a regular builder grade cabinet of which so many of us are familiar with. And this particular paint said no sanding, no priming, no nothing, and that is what I did. I will say, now that I am finished with the project, I would most definitely either give it a light sanding, a deglossing, and or a priming, because I had to do about four coats. As you can see, the wood grain kept popping through, but the finished product is so beautiful and you are going to love it. I am using this painter's brush here to get into all the little fine details and get into all the crevices that the roller could not get into. I choose to paint with a foam roller because it gives more of a soft finish without showing any brush strokes.
Here is the light that I chose for the bathroom. It is a three fixture light. Chris is gonna install it. I got it from Home Depot, super affordable, and I love the way it looks. Chris was trying to teach me how to install the light because I told him I wanted to do this on my own one day. So that is him talking to me. As you can see, he's trying to show me how to install it. Honestly, it started to just be a lot. So I said, just do it and we will do it another day. But it was very kind of him to try to teach me. This is my favorite part of the bathroom. When I saw this mirror, I knew I had to have it. I have been on the hunt for a nautical rope mirror for so long and they are so expensive. So when I found an affordable one at Home Depot, I was so excited and I knew this would bring together this space beautifully. Being that this is a lake house, as I have mentioned, I wanted to keep that coastal water theme. So I scoured the internet and I found this beautiful picture of a native Florida Ecret bird. I love birds and I wanted something to be in the bathroom to just tie in the whole environment. So I also got this frame from Target. This is a 11 by 14, I believe, frame matted for an eight by 10. I purchased this hand-painted Ecret picture from Etsy and then printed it out at Walgreens. All of the pictures that I found were so expensive and I was not willing to spend a lot of money. So the picture itself was $3 off of Etsy and then I paid $4 to have it printed. So I came in here and I painted the baseboards. I finished painting all of the details of the trim as well as the ceiling. And so we are ready to start bringing things back into this room. So I am putting the existing knobs back on the doors. These were the ones that were already here and I feel like they fit perfect. If you don't have to spend the money, don't spend it. Use what you have. Peeling up the tape was so satisfying. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this process as well. I'm going to clean the mirror. The styrofoam that was protecting this mirror was still stuck on here. So I'm using my vacuum and getting it all off. And then I am going to place the picture here to see exactly where I like it. I'm so ready to see this whole space come together. The rug I got from HomeGood, it's beautiful and it's so, so soft. I was gonna go for all white, but knowing that this is the most active bathroom in the house, I chose not to do that so it didn't get so dirty. I'm putting a white washcloth right here and just bringing in the space with all of the accents and details. You remember this pedestal we made? I'm gonna use this pedestal for this greenery that I got a while back and this beautiful container of soap that I got from Home Goods as well. Here's a little tip on how to hang pictures. I am not the greatest. I'll be the first one to admit it. So I take painter's tape and I cover the sawtooth hangers on the back. Then I will mark where I want my nails to go. And then if I don't have a level, which I do not have a level in this house, I eye it and I put it up here. I could not find the hammer anywhere. My son was making fun of me that I'm using the back of a screwdriver, but you know what? You do what you have to do. I told him if I had a high heel available, I would have used that instead, but no hammers, no high heels in this rental. And voila, there you go. Super easy and it is perfect every single time. Here's the finished look. 
I love it so much. This bathroom is so inviting, so beautiful, still minimal. It's a very small bathroom, so I didn't want to go overboard with everything on the walls. The mirror is just so classic and so beautiful. Right when you walk in, you see this bathroom, and I think that it is just beautiful. I know the owners are going to love it, and it's super renter friendly with hardly any money. You guys can do this. I know you can. I would love to see if you guys choose to make over a space in your house. Some paint and a lot of creativity can transform any space. I hope you guys love this video. If you want to see more room makeovers, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite transformation in this room. Thank you all so much for being here and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.